Hello everyone, my name is Nitsan. I'm a front-end developer at BIT and today we are going to talk about how to reuse React components across your projects. Cool, so the first thing we are going to do is to create a BIT workspace. And in that workspace it's where we create components, export them back to the cloud, you know, and then import them when we need, and so on. And let's go ahead and code! Yeah, we like coding! Cool! And at the moment this workspace is empty, actually. Okay, you can see some files over here and you can see the node models and stuff. But if we look at on, in the, on the bitmap file, we're going to see we don't have any components. The bitmap file basically tells a bit which component, components are available in our workspace. And we don't have any components. So what are we going to do? We are going to create a component. And the first component, we are going to create this reusable React component we can use anywhere, actually. We're going to call it UI input and we are creating this component from the React template. So let's go ahead and create it. And you see Bit already generates all the files that we need for this component. And the first thing we're going to do is just, just implement this input component. And you're going to forgive me, but I'm going to copy paste. Yes, yes, I'm going to copy paste all the implementation of this file, of this component. And you're going to trust me that I know how to react, write React code. And okay, cool. So we have this component over here. It's a very simple input with a button. We're gonna see it, see it soon in our own workspace dev server. But let's first run bit status. And bit status is a command that tells us what's the status of components in our workspace. And we have some errors, cool. And the first issue that we have is that we're missing disks. And this is not a real problem because we haven't run bit, comp bit compiled yet. So we don't have the disks in the, in the non models uh, folder. But here we can see some, something interesting. It tells us that, that, that we are missing an, a file, right? We didn't, have, we didn't create this file yet, the, the SCSS file. But we are also miss, missing some packages. So you can see here we are missing these packages over here. And this is a cool feature with Bit that it knows to look in your, on your, in your in, in import statements over here and it knows which statements are files and which statements are packages. And let's go ahead and just install these, these uh, packages we are missing. And you know what, let's go ahead and also compile. So we have all our component or our only component compiled. Cool, and Bit, by the way, Bit uses PNPM uh, behind the scenes, but you can use any package manager, but poof, PNPM is really fast, so I don't see any re reason to use any other package manager. And let's run bit status again to see that everything is okay now. And no, it will, will tell us that we forgot to create this file. So let's go ahead and create this file and okay, input.module.scss, cool. And you're really gonna have to forgive me because <laughs> I'm gonna copy paste it again. And you're gonna have to trust me that I know how to write as CSS code. Okay, cool. So we have this file. Now we can run the status again and we can see everything is okay. And we, now we can run our dev server. And in the dev server, it's a really, really cool uh, environment. We can see a lot of all, all the components available in our workspace. We can, just, we can see which components are new, modified, and so on. And, oh, by the way, you know, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and implement the composition. The composition file, basically, we can create all kinds of variations of our components. So users, or more precisely, consumers of our component, uh, can know how to use it. Um, so at the moment we have only one prop, so that's we're going to do it like that, button text, or maybe just do it like this, submit, and save this file. When our dev server, server will run, we will be able to see all of our compositions. And at the moment we have only one composition, of course. You can also compose your component with other components, and then you can see the, your, your, that your component really, is really working as expected. So yeah, here is our component over here. And we can already see this component here. And actually, it doesn't look like it's supposed to look. So let's, let's check the code again. And I think we have something wrong with our SCSS file. So um, let's have a look over here. 
It looks okay, so maybe I forgot to save this. Oh, you know what's wrong over here. I didn't copy the dot. Okay, so now everything is supposed to work. Yeah, this, it looks like it's supposed to look very cool. An input component with the button inside. And you can type inside it and it's, wow, it's really cool. And let's go ahead now and we have this component generated and we are ready to tag it and create our first version. So let's go ahead and then bit tag and we should give it a message. And let's just say first version. Okay, and bit is going to tag our component and when bit tags a component, it, it goes through a, a cycle of installing all dependencies and then it will also test the component that it's working as expected and bit will also um, yeah we have a failed test we're going to check it in a second and bit is also going to build a component and create a consumable package for our component so can anyone so, so, so that anyone can uh, install it in their project right and yeah of course we didn't change uh, this file over here and you know what i'm gonna copy paste uh, again and you're gonna have to forgive me and you're gonna have to believe me that I know how to write tests, even though I hate to write tests. Now you're right, no, nobody likes to write tests. Okay, seriously now. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna, get, now we have the write tests over here and we could run a uh, bit tag again. And this is important, you know, that bit will not let you tag a component without all tests approved. It makes sure that your component is really working as, as, as expected and anyone can install it and enjoy your, your, your component. And wow, okay, new component. And anyway, we have a new version for our component. And now that we have this version, let's go ahead and export this component to the cloud. And when this component is exported, then anyone in the world can use this component. And this is really cool. Because now we can go ahead to BitCloud and let's go ahead and go to BitCloud and I'm gonna go to my user on BitCloud. And you see, can see all kinds of scopes here when I have in all kinds of components in all kinds of scopes. And let's just scroll down and here it is. And here is our component. And this component now happily lives in this, in this scope and anyone in the world can just go ahead and use it. So you know what, simulate a real, a real use case. So let's go ahead and create a new workspace. We're going to create a new workspace and in this workspace, uh, let's call it, let's call it another project. You know what, let's keep it, keep it simple, right? And here it is. This is the name of the workspace we're going to give. And we're going to call this workspace another project. Another project, cool. And we have to CD like that. And okay, cool. And now we're going to create this another project workspace and we're going to create a new component over there. And in that component, we are going to use our our previously exported component, the input component. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and create another component and create. And now we are going to use another template called React App, and let's call it My App. Okay. And this React App is basically an application type component which is useful if you, if you want to deploy this component or um, run it in your work, workspace with the dev server. And okay, now we have it over here. Let's go ahead and install our component. So yeah, over here we can install this component and Bit is going to use PNPM, as I said before, to install this component in our, in our, our, our workspace and then we can use it, right? Because Bit is going to bring this component inside our node models right over here. 
and then we can import we can import this component import uh, input from here okay and we can use it let's just render it over here like that in the front in the main page and yeah we have to give it the button text okay cool and uh, let's run bit status again to see that everything is okay in our workspace as i told you it's a very useful command to see that everything is okay and we have some missing dependencies react router dom is missing we, we are using react router dom we're here we're here to render the routes but we didn't install it so we have to install it in our workspace let's go ahead and install it and run bit compile as well to create the dist cool and yeah not bit react with the root router dom bit install of course and after bit installs this dependency and compiles our component and it's really fast this pnp wow wow it's blazing face uh, fast i love it okay cool and after we have this component we now have to also add this as, as an extension to our workspace it's because this is as, as, as i said this is of an app type component so we are going to do like that and now it's added and we can run bit install and bit compile again because we have to install all, all dependencies for this component and cool so right now uh, we after this uh, finishing uh, finishes okay cool and now we can run a bit app list to see if what apps we have available and yep we have my app and we can run it bit run my app and now we will be able to see our app running up live uh, in the browser cool so let's have a look see how it looks yeah wow it's that's one big input whoa okay <laughs> cool so now we have our input rendered in our component but you know what this is not exactly the input that we want in our project i mean yes it looks almost identical to what we need but our product manager he tells us now okay this this color we don't use this color in our team we have to use another, another color so what are we going to do hmm interesting and then now we are getting to know a new command in bit it's called bit import and previously we installed the component and then the component was available in our our node models but bit import will actually import all the source files into our workspace and we can edit this component live and see that with everything that we changed live and then tag it with a new version and this is really awesome you know being able to change dependencies like in a second i really like it okay so we are importing this component into our second workspace okay this is not the workspace that we had before it's a new work workspace right and there we go we have this component right here the input component and now we want to add another prop let's say we call it variant and uh, this is going to be a string not like that cool and we're going to destruct it over here as you can see i know how to write react code now you believe me that i know to write <laughs> react code okay so and over here we're going to say styles variant like that cool and in our CSS we are going to say you know what let's just let's change it to not like that not to, like that secondary okay cool we, are, we want only secondary okay and here over here we're gonna say secondary secondary and then we're gonna give it a background background color of reddish cool and now what do you think is going to happen um in our workspace in our um, uh, application over here let's have a look and it haven't changed stupid me sorry and we didn't pass the prop right <laughs> we have to pass the prop in order for it to render and yeah we don't want this prop actually to be like that we want it to be optional right and over here let's go ahead and variant 
and oh yeah like that oh i love that typescript autocomplete cool and let's have a look again and what happens when we are or uh, no 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 you know what we forgot i'll tell you we did we only wanted to change the button right so actually sorry it was my mistake okay we don't want it here like that we want to have it on our button right class names and then we can add this class over here and i hope you still believe me that i know to write react code okay and let's have a look again and wow we have a red button that's really cool and all we have left and you can add you can add more tests and stuff, but we're not going to do it right now. All we have left to do is to tag our component again, and uh, to tag our, our components in our workspace. Actually, because they have, we have we have two components now, and uh, let's just say added variant prop. Cool. Oh, not like that. Like that. Okay. And now Bit is going to run the test test again and tag our component, and after that we will be able to export it back to the cloud. And you know, when we export it back to the cloud, oh, we have a type undefined cannot be, oh, of course. So yeah, of course, so if it's only optional, so we should give it, let's go ahead and make a primary as well. And then we can give it a default value. And then everything is going to be cool. Okay, let's go ahead and tag again. And you see, it's really important that we have this test running every time we tag, every time we version our components. Okay, so now the bit is going to run the test again, build the components, create the packages. Very nice, very cool. And there we go. We have our new tagged components in a second. It's going to happen. Trust me. Okay, and, <laughs> and let's wait a second. After that, I'm going to show you something really cool and we are going to end uh, this video. Okay, so you see new components, you have my app, it's a new component, and change components. We have this input component with, this, with its second version. And over here you can see something interesting that bit also auto tag the dependence. It's because the my app has the uh, input as a dependency, bit will always tag also my app if I only change the input component. This is really, really cool. So yeah, and going back to our first workspace and over here, okay, yeah, no, I forgot to export this. So we have to export first. Let's go ahead and bit export because we want, want to have all the changes all on the cloud. And if I go to the first workspace again now and I go bit import, just like that without any component. This is going to import all the new objects that are available on the cloud. Okay, so let's go ahead and bit import. And after we import, then we can, cool, we get another, another version, right? We, need, we get our second version and we can check out latest. Latest, cool. And when we check out latest, then what we're gonna see here, whoppa, we have our update over here. And this is really cool now that we can use these components everywhere. And if we need to update them, we, we go ahead and beat import. And I was Nitsan. You are great. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.